Alrighty guys, I'm back. I stripped the wires a little bit longer. Whoops. You guys can't really see that. A little bit longer than what they were. And I also want to try out my meter here. And I stripped the ends a little bit longer there as well. Now, the setup I'm going to do, I guess I won't require this now. Because I'm going to use, this as my connector. I got to bring um, the old charge controller over here and I'm going to disconnect my cigarette plug off of here. You guys remember that. I did a bunch of tests with that and that works really well. So we'll disconnect that. There's a little chewed up there. Hmm. Okay. So we gotta move our positive and negatives. I'll clip those on to the battery pack right here. And I have the battery pack unhooked from main power. So it's not being charged at the sec at the second. We'll go like this, and we should have no power there because I have to throw a switch in the back. If you guys remember, but if you're new, that's there's a switch in the back, and the battery level is at 14. So next. This has a source and a load. Um, on my viewfinder, it doesn't look like a very clear picture for some reason. But anyway, the source will be plugged into the 12 volt side of this load center here. And then this, the light will be plugged into the source. So we got to do negative and positive. We'll do positive first. Whoops. Here, let me turn this thing around a bit. At the tiny house, I have all kinds of space, but not here. So, into the positive and negative connections. I guess I gotta back these out some more because they're still closed or somewhat closed, I think. I'll put a little pressure pushing in as I crank each terminal down, and hopefully that will solve that. Okay, that seems to be okay. Now for the light, I'm just going to use some tape to attach these guys because um, this is just a temporary test. So you want to do black to black, red to red. They, they color code things for a reason. <laughs> I'm using a lot of tape. Not really need this much. Whoops. I should cut this piece in half. <clears throat> okay. Just so they the the metal's touching the metal, basically. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. So we'll try that out. I will hit the button on the back of the back of this guy. I don't know if the uh, we'll find out. Okay. So we have power there. We have power here. First time I've seen this. 13.8 volts. That's a nice little meter that High Tech Guy 18 recommended. He has one, or maybe a few. And why am I zoomed? There we go. So I'm going to click the light on. Hmm. No power. Okay. Oh. My, one of my connections has come loose, so I'm going to shut this off for a second, guys. I'll show you right here. Bastard. The positive. Okay. That's no good. That's why I have, didn't have any power there, guys, so let's fix that. Oh man, that bastard wire is stubborn. Okay, we'll try that. Hopefully that will do it. Okay, I'm going to switch the power on again. Okay, I'm going to click the light. Hmm, what? Why do we have no power? Am I missing something here? Is it a bad connection? Interesting. Okay, what I'm going to do, click the battery off. I'm going to pull both of these ends. And then I'm going to pull these, pull my meter off of the, uh, the battery. And then I'm going to plug, got no room to work, I'm going to plug directly off of this thing, negative, negative, positive, positive, and we'll see if I can get this light to work. Something tells me I had a bad connection somewhere. See, that's not even going under the positive connector. That is. Okay. 
We'll flip that on. Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> you guys see that? That's bright. Holy crap. Okay, so I had a bad connection somewhere. I think it was on the positive side of the meter. So I'll reconnect that and run it off the light again. But that is a powerful light. Holy crap. That's 12 volt. And uh, not sure how much it's draining the battery. 13.8. Not Probably not too bad. Let me go through the... Um, Go through the uh, display quickly to tell me what the load's doing. Zero point one amp. That's really good for that type of light. <laughs> 0 0.1 amp for that type of brightness that's crazy wow and it's adjustable too it's got its own little um, racking some of my, one of my members a long time ago recommended those so um, thank you to them if they're still with me on the channel um, I'm going to try and hook this guy up and figure out if it was just a bad connection, so give me a second here. <laughs> 